Good evening, Calvary Kids, and welcome to Kids on Missions Online. We are so excited that you could join us here tonight. We are going to continue our study on missionaries around the world. And remember, a missionary is just someone who goes somewhere and tells somebody about Jesus. I'm so excited you guys could be with me tonight. Remember, last week we talked about a brand new region of the world and started talking about some of the missionary efforts that are going on there. We're going to continue talking about that area tonight, but who can remind me what area of the world did we talk about last week? That's right. We talked about Southeast Asia. As you can see up here on the map, Southeast Asia is made up of a bunch of different countries, a lot of cool little different islands. And what's really amazing about this place is so many different unique cultures in each one of these countries. Now, we talked about a specific country last week. Who can remember the name of that country? That's it, the country of Cambodia. You'll see it up here on the screen. We've got the country of Cambodia. And who can remember, what is one of the uh, most important things to the Cambodian culture in terms of food? What's one of the biggest food items there? That's right, rice. Remember we had the, the big jar of rice here and we talked about how important rice is to the culture of Cambodia. And we also talked about the, something else that's very interesting about a lot of these countries in Southeast Asia is that many of the people there don't have a relationship with Jesus or they've never even heard about Jesus because they don't have their own Bible or nobody's ever told them. And just a few small percentage of the people there actually have a real relationship with Jesus. So we're going to continue talking about that tonight, and we're going to actually introduce a new missionary family that is working in Southeast Asia and talk about some of the things that they're doing. Before we get to that tonight, I want to ask you guys a question. What are some things that you need? All right, so what are some of the things you might need to survive? Think about it for a minute. You can write it down. You can tell your parents. You can post it in the comments below. But what are some things that you need to survive? All right. Now, some of you may say stuff like, oh, I, I need my toys or my video games or my TV or my iPhone or my iPad or whatever to survive. The truth is, a lot of those things you could do without. When it comes to actual needs, some of the things that we actually need to survive are things like food. You got to have food. Things like water. You've got to have water. Things like housing, somewhere to live, somewhere something to protect you from the outside, whether it's extremely hot or extremely cold. Well, maybe something like clothes, something to wear on your body. That's kind of important. Those are some of the things that you actually need. And another thing, especially right now, medicine. Medicine sometimes is some of the things that we actually need to be able to, for our bodies to be able to heal from certain diseases and things. All these are things that we absolutely need. But the truth is, here in the, here in the United States, a lot of us have access to all kinds of different things. Not just needs, but a bunch of wants too. A lot of the things that we want, we actually have access to. In places like Southeast Asia and in countries like Cambodia, they don't always have access to those things. They don't always have access to all the things that they actually need. And that's where a lot of different missionaries come into play. So we're going to talk about a missionary family tonight. Uh, missionary family, their names are William and Nancy. William and Nancy, they are missionaries in the country of Cambodia. They've been there for about seven years now. They've been serving in Cambodia. They have, they basically, they came over there seven years ago. And one of the things they found was that a lot of people weren't actually receptive to the gospel at first. They didn't want to hear about Jesus. They didn't want to hear about the stories that are found in the Bible. And so they were a little bit discouraged by that because they were so excited to tell them about Jesus. 
Well, one of the things William and Nancy figured out is that a lot of the people in Cambodia, they didn't have access to medicine. Now, who can tell me, what is this that I have here on the stage with me tonight? This is a first aid kit, right? So if you look inside a first aid kit, you'd see a bunch of things like band-aids, um, like cold presses, gloves, um, hand sanitizers, all this stuff to help you if you get like a cut or if you're feeling kind of sick or if you get a scrape or something like that. All this stuff is found right in here. It's easy access for us, right? We've got, we've got this here at the church. You've probably got one here. You've probably got one somewhere at your house. Everybody has access to one of these here in the United States. But what William and Nancy found is that in Cambodia, a lot of people didn't have access to this kind of stuff. Whether it was medicine, whether it was band-aids, whether it was things to clean a wound, like if you got a cut or something, they didn't have the stuff that you would need to just clean it out. And so one of the things they started doing was providing medicine and different medical equipment for the people of Cambodia. They saw that all these people had a physical need, something to do with their body, something physical, whether it was a cut or whether it was a disease, and they wanted to step in and help to fix it. And then what they would do after that is then they would tell people about the reason why they're doing this in the first place. They're doing this because Jesus loves them. Because Jesus cares about them. And Jesus said to go and to help people and to tell people about him. That's why Nancy and William are doing what they're doing. Because they love Jesus and they want the whole world to know, and especially the people of Cambodia, that Jesus loves and cares about them. So, And really what they're doing is the exact same thing that Jesus did a lot of times. Jesus saw someone who was blind somebody who couldn't see, somebody who couldn't walk, somebody who had an illness or some kind of sickness. And what Jesus would do is he would heal them. He would meet their physical needs and then tell them how much he loves them. So that's what William and Nancy have been doing for the past seven years now is helping the people of Cambodia meet their physical needs so that they can tell them about Jesus. And Here's the thing, guys. We can do the same thing here. Maybe it's not physical, like medical needs or something, but you guys have the opportunity to help people, whether it's at school, when you get back to school, whether it's in your neighborhood, whether it's at your own house. You guys can help and meet needs right now, probably just in your own house, but you can meet needs wherever, and you can show the love of God that way. That's another way that you can show how much God loves you and how much God loves other people. And then you can take that opportunity to, to tell people, hey, the reason I'm doing this, the reason I want to help is because I love Jesus. And I want you to know Jesus loves you too. And so you're going to have a lot of opportunities, hopefully over the summer, hopefully we'll be able to get back out and, and just have some fun this summer. But you're going to have opportunities to help people, to tell people about Jesus, and we're going to have a fun summer together. One of the things I really want to encourage you guys to be doing is right now, tentatively still, but June the 3rd, we are playing our very first summer adventure. If you watch the Sunday video, you know that it's going to be messy game night, which is going to be a ton of fun. If you want to get a clue as to what the second game is, in our messy game night will be tune in for this Sunday's lesson. All right, if you missed the clue on the first one, go back, watch the Sunday lesson. At the very end, I give a clue about the first game that we'll be playing on messy game night. All right, so make sure you check that out. But here's what I want to encourage you guys to do. Be thinking about a friend that you can invite to come to messy game night because we're going to have a ton of fun. Invite your friends. It's all free. Invite your friends to come out and let's have a lot of fun together. All right, sound good? All right, now before we go, we're going to do our verse for this month, and this is found in Philippians 2.2, 2, and it says this, Fulfill my joy by thinking the same way, having the same love, 
sharing the same feelings, focusing on one goal. All right, that's our verse for the month. We're going to say this, and then we're going to go back and do all three of the verses we've learned over the last three months. All right, so let's start with this one. We'll say it all together on three. Ready? One, two, three. Fulfill my joy by thinking the same way, having the same love, sharing the same feelings, focusing on one goal. Philippians 2.2. 2. All right, great job. Now, let's go to the very first verse that we learned. That's found in Psalm 66.16. So that should be coming up here on the screen. Awesome. So let's say this all together because you guys should definitely know this one by now. All right, ready on three. One, two, three. Come and listen, all who fear God, and I will tell what he has done for me. Psalm 66.16. All right, good job. Now we got one more. This one's found in Luke chapter 19, verse 10. We're going to say it on three. Ready? One, two, three. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save the lost. Luke 19, 10. All right, great job, guys. We will continue to be working on all those Bible verses, and I promise you will have a chance to say them when we do get back here at the church together. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week. If you guys need anything, please let me, Pastor Jeff, somebody here at the church know. We love you guys. We care about you guys. We hope you have a great rest of the week. We'll see you Sunday.